Hello friends, this is Astrologer Manish once again and thank you for watching my videos about Vedic Astrology. Well, in this video, we will be talking about one of the most core fundamental principle of astrology. This is about knowing yourself. This is about knowing your existence. This video is all about being aware of your own actions, your own existence and how and why you think what you think. So we, we call it as a tripod of life, your life, any human being's life who has been into this world, who exists into this world, the three factors which create the tripod of any human being's life are these three planets. And you have to understand the basic principle and the rules of astrology before you start decoding yourself. And this is why I'm teaching you. I'm teaching you so that you can learn about yourself. These are the concepts and these are the things which you won't find easily written in any astrological books. Even if you visit a commercial astrologer, most of the commercial astrologer, they just ask you, what is your problem? And then they will straight deep dive into your problem and provide you the solutions. But they don't talk about these things. And naturally, even if you go to a doctor, doctor never tells you the whole encyclopedia of the, of the medical science. They just ask you the problem and right away they went, they go into uh, finding a treatment for your problem. But my tutorials, my videos are about how you know about yourself, how you see your soul, how you see your subconscious mind, how you feel, how you think. You have to decode every aspect of your life, every aspect of your DNA, right for, from your conscious mind to subconscious mind and to your physical body. Then only you will be able to understand why you are what you are, why you think differently than even your brothers and sisters, even though they have the same DNA. Why even two twins, they think differently. Putting them into one situation, they both may act differently. Why all human beings have a different personality or a different traits or they act differently even while they are in a similar situation. Because the tripod of their life is what makes them. So you have to understand this and I want you to open your charts now using the software Jagannath Hora, as I have already shown you in my previous videos and then see where are these three planets because this is what making the complete tripod of your life and it will answer a lot of your questions about yourself and also about your family members if you happen to see their charts also and it will also tell you why every human being is unique. There is no one size fits approach in astrology. Even the twins which are born within the two minutes of difference of time, maybe at the same place, same hospitals, but still the difference is two minutes. They also have a unique personality traits and they also have their own fate, their own destiny. And they also think and act differently. So open your chart and see where these three planets are. Your sun, your moon and your ascendant lord. And I will talk about ascendant, ascendant lord in a few minutes. Your sun is the primary factor of your existence. That is describing I am. Astitva, your soul. So go back to my previous videos where I have talked about sun in different signs. Sun is your soul. Sun is the primary reason of your existence in this world. That describes your astitva. That means your existence in this world. And if you know where your sun is, that is where your soul is. So watch the video. Watch the video where I've been talking about sun in different houses because that is representing your soul. Your moon is how you feel. That is your bhoktitva, how you feel as the world is treating you. 
how you feel emotionally in your subconscious mind as the world is treating you or how the world is animating the things around you how people are treating you how things are behaving against you or in front of you so everything what you feel internally is your moon sign is your moon planet moon and look at the chart go back to your chart and see where your moon is and watch my video where I have talked about moon in different houses what does it mean because moon is your emotional mind this describes your feeling and your uh, how the world is treating you how you feel internally for instance if you're driving a car people see you that you're very happy driving a luxury car but internally how you feeling driving the car it's only what you know about it so understanding how you feel is a primary fundamental principle of the tripod of the life and the third is which is very 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 important is your ascendant sign your lagana lord which talks about i do your car tritwa how i do things to the world understand this this is you are your sun is you are your soul moon is you feel as what world is doing to you and your lagana lord your ascendant sign ascendant lord is saying what you do to the world how you behave to the external world so if you can decode this in your chart consider you have understood 99% about yourself this is major this is phenomenal and this is how you will learn in future videos how you change your life your fortune your your fate and how you transform yourself into a better human being using the tripod of the life and the strongest pillars what astrology the vedic astrology provides you so you are is where your sun is you think where your moon is you feel where your moon is and what you do to the world is where your ascendant sign is and now go back to my videos and where i have talked about in episode 3 or 4 i think if sun is in different houses what does it mean to your where your soul is if your moon is in different houses what does it mean how you think emotionally and your, through your subconscious mind as the world is treating you and in this video further i'm going to be talking about your ascendant sign that how do you find your ascendant sign and if it has been sitting in one of these 12 houses what does it represents it's very important to know your ascendant sign because your life is going to revolve around the lord of your ascendant sign so we'll be talking about this in this video your ascendant sign to complete the complete tripod of life i encourage you to please go back and watch this series step by step to understand the complete logic of the astrology and how these cosmic planets wherever they sit they dominant they dominate that particular area of your life so open your chart and look into the bhava chalit chart the kaspal chart in the software um, any software you can use if they have a kaspal chart system or bhava chalit chart system or otherwise use jagannath hora open your chart and see the tripod of your life sun moon i have already talked about it now we're going to talk about your ascendant sign so so when we talk about the ascendant sign the first thing you need to understand is the zodiac signs and the lordship so these are the zodiac signs aries till pisces and each zodiac sign is ruled by a planet and if you see mars mercury venus jupiter and saturn they all have two zodiac sign associated to them or given to them or they are the lord of let's say mars is the lord of aries and mars is also the lord of scorpio venus is the lord of taurus and venus is also lord of libra mercury is lord of gemini and virgo jupiter is lord of sagittarius and pisces and saturn is a lord of capricorn and um, aquarius whereas moon and sun they only hold one zodiac sign each so moon is a lord of cancer and sun is a lord of leo so you need to memorize it or if you cannot memorize it just keep it a um, note in your back pocket to always understand 
which zodiac sign is ruled by which lord so now when you open your chart first time you see your chart similar to this and wherever the first this is your first house the lord of the first house becomes your ascendant lord so for instance if you have your first house mark here one that means the sign here is aries and the lord is mars so this thing the lagana lord ascendant lord becomes mars in your case if you open your chart and see here sign two that means this is taurus so remember this house is always house number one the house never changes house remains one and two and three so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve these are the houses they always remain the same houses the number in between these are the number of the zodiac sign so one represents aries 12 represent pisces six represents virgo five represents uh, leo so this is how you read your chart and i do have a video about the importance of ascendant sign uh, in my youtube uh, channel uh, so you can always go back and see uh, the importance of your ascendant sign video which i have created and i have also demonstrated how to see your ascendant sign in there but now when you open your chart, whatever the number you see in here, that's the number of your zodiac sign. And the load of that planet is your ascendant load. So if you see one in your first box, it's Mars. If you see two, it's Venus. If you see three, it's Mercury. Four is Moon. Five is Sun. Six is Mercury. Seven is Venus. Eight is Mars. Nine is Jupiter. Ten is Saturn. 11 is Saturn and 12 is Jupiter. So whatever the number you see in here, that becomes your Lagana Lord. So the number you see here is on your Lagana chart, okay, the prime natal chart. But where your planet, the Lagana Lord is sitting, that you see in your Bhava Chalit or Kaspal Placidus system chart. So go back to the prerequisites where I talk about, you have to always see two charts when you have to decode yourself. The first chart, the natal chart, talks about the zodiac signs, what planet owns them. And the cuspal chart, the Placidus house system chart, that tells you about where these lords are sitting. So where your sun is sitting, where your moon is sitting, where your lagana is sitting, always look at the cuspal chart, Placidus house system. That is the most accurate, most accurate. So once you have known your ascendant sign, that is the load of your first house. Now all you need to do is see where that load, that planet, that cosmic energy is sitting to complete the tripod of your life. We have talked about sun, which talks about your soul, which is talking about your existence. We have talked about moon in the previous videos in episode three or four, where how you feel when the cosmic energy moon is sitting in one of these 12 houses. Now to complete the tripod, we need to understand where your ascendant load is sitting. And your ascendant load can be one of these planets from Mars, Venus, Mercury, Moon, Sun, Jupiter, Saturn. Rahu and Ketu has no uh, zodiac signs allocated, so they can never become your ascendant loads. So you see whichever the number your first sign has, like it, if it has a four, that means Moon is your ascendant load. If it is five, you have sun as your ascendant lord if it is one here you have mars as in your ascendant lord if you have two here you have venus as your ascendant lord if you have three here you have mercury as your ascendant lord if you have seven here you have venus as your ascendant lord if you have six here you have mercury as an ascendant lord if you have eight here you have Mars as an ascendant lord. If you have nine here, you have Jupiter as an ascendant lord. If you have 10 here, you have Saturn as an ascendant lord. If you have 11 here, you have again Saturn as your ascendant lord. If you have 12 here, you have again Jupiter as your ascendant lord. So I have covered all from one to 12. So all you need to do is figure out what does your ascendant lord is and then that means how you're going to treat the world through your physical presence. And we will talk about it 
one by one. Ascendant Lord sitting in first house makes your body, physical body very strong. It also makes you a man of self-determination, discipline, straightforward, and a person who wants to lead a life with complete devotion, dedication, self-effort, self-discipline to achieve their goals. And first house is a house of your physical body, your immunity. The Lord sitting in here gives you strong strength in your physical body. So you will be very determined. You will be a straightforward and you will be a self-made person with a lot of self-conscious also because you are your cosmic energy, your first Lord is sitting in its own house. It gives you a feel, a presence of being aware of yourself wherever you go. And you are a person of strong discipline and determination, a lot of self-effort and self-made also. People with this combination are truly, truly blessed. If your Ascendant Lord is sitting in second house, your life will revolve around the matters of money and family. You are a person who love to be with their family and your life goal and your life will revolve around the matters of your family, the matters of your wealth, of your income, of your money, finding new ways to make money and exploring new opportunities. Money is very much tied to your, your own self. And it's a house of food also. People who have ascendant lord in the second house, they normally been seen as uh, fond of good food and drinks. If your lord is in third house, your life will revolve around your self-efforts. This is the house of your self-effort and your communication also. So third house, your ascendant lord, your physical existence, your physical I do, of the tripod of life, if sitting in third house, consider you will do a lot. You will do a lot of self-efforts with a lot of willpower and determination to achieve your life goals. Your life will revolve around getting anything through your self-effort. It's similar to the Lord of first house also. First house Lord makes you very self-disciplined also. And people are self-made. But third house is you get an energy to go and continue on the path of fulfilling your objectives. You have a fierce power, your determination, your Purushikara and your ascendant Lord will push you to go and get things. Your life will revolve around that. Whatever you want to do in life, you have to put an effort to get it there. Without efforts, you won't get it. So that is what your Lagana Lord is telling you. You need something put efforts. Show me your determination. Show me your willpower. Show me your Purushakara. And then we will decide whether you will get it or not. But your life will revolve around your self-effort, self-effort and a lot of self-efforts. Now if your ascendant lord is in the fourth house, you're connected to your motherland, you're well connected to your mother and you also well connected to your home where you're living. Your life will revolve around the place of your living, where you live, your home, and your life will also revolve around gaining more real estate value and more real estate wealth. And also doing something related to home, maybe working from home or into civil engineering or doing something because your life, your I do, is linked to the fourth house of your home, your property, real estate, vehicle, your mother and your homeland, your country. So your life is going to revolve around the fourth house a lot. If your planet Lagan Lord is in fifth house, you are a person who knows only three words. Entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. Your life is wherever the entertainment is. Because fifth house is a house of entertainment. It's a house of innovation also. It's a house of your creative thinking also. So Lagana Lord in fifth house, very good sign for people who are into entertainment industry, film industry, uh, sports, uh, acting, singing, because you like entertainment. If I tell you to go and do an engineering or become a doctor, it will be a pain for you because you want to be into the field of entertainment. 
right? And this is where your, your life will revolve around. And this is what, why the things go wrong for people because they don't know what is their cosmic energy or their karmic energy is asking them to do. Why? Because when they are born, they don't know where their ascendant sign is if they have never seen their horoscope. All people do in, you know, I've seen different parts of the world, whatever their cousins are doing, whatever their other family members are doing, they just chase them. They follow them without even following or knowing what is their own planets, what is their own instinct, what is what their I do, their Kartritva planet energy is asking them to do. If you have Lord Ascendant Lord in fifth house and you are pursuing something being a rocket scientist or an engineer consider you are already pushing yourself to the limits which is hard for you to obtain because your ascendant sign is all about creativity innovation and entertainment you cannot sit and read the books and memorize things you need creativity even if you want to be a rocket scientist you need an entertaining way a creative way creative way to learn that things and then to apply those things in your life. So this is a very important factor. You have to understand this. So this is creativity, solution providing, uh, being into um, innovations, uh, and your sentence sign sitting here gives you that creative mind. And you can follow your passions. You can follow your entertainment. You can follow your dreams. This is a very good sign for people who have ascendant lord in fifth house. Sixth house. Ascendant Lord, your life will revolve around the services what you're going to provide to others. So consider a house of your job and house of your health also, your diseases and your uh, hidden enemies we see from 6th house. So as Ascendant House is sitting in 6th house, consider your life will revolve around these aspects. Either you, you may have many hidden enemies and your life will revolve around handling those or your health will be the major concern for your life. Not in a negative way, but you would like to or strive to live happy and healthy. So your sixth house, which is a significance of your health and your Lagana Lord, your ascendant Lord sitting here, that means your life will revolve around three major things in your life. One is your hidden enemies. Second is your health. And third is the service what you're going to provide to others. So your energies, what you do, will be all, all and all be focused at these three things and it's also house of your servants so if you have a lot of servants in your home then consider you're also managing them so ascendant lord in seventh house your life will revolve around uh, your marriage your partners your legal partnerships and it's also an indicator of you can be very good in business and in entrepreneur skills because your i do which is your kartitra is is sitting your ascendant lord is sitting in the house of business, entrepreneurship or any legal agreements you have and that includes your spouse also. So your life is going to revolve around the factors signifies by the seventh house and this is your interpersonal skills also. And uh, seventh house ascendant lord makes you very good in how you approach people, how your interpersonal skills are and how you handle situations when it comes to the matter of your business and being into entrepreneur and also your spouse your marriage so if you have ascendant in fifth house you are very good in love and affairs your life may revolve around those things also because entertainment is in your blood is in your dna right because your ascendant lord is there in seventh house your dna sorry your ascendant lord is saying that your life should revolve around your marriage your marriage is very important to you and also your legal partnerships or your business. So your life will revolve around your business and your interpersonal skills, your, your interactive skills, uh, what you do and how you talk and how you behave with your business partners and your business clients. If your ascendant Lord is in the eighth house, your life will revolve around the activities of something which does not exist so for instance if you are a product designer software developer or a doctor which helps reduce the suffering and pain of other people this is a very good sign for you because eighth house is a house of pain and suffering 
and I would believe 99% of astrologers, the moment they see this, the ascendant lord in 8th house, they will say, gentleman or ma'am, your life is doomed, which is not true because 8th house also brings the best out of you in terms of product development, designing or something which does not exist, something underground. 8th house is underground house. It does not exist in the physical realm. It's beneath our physical realm. So anything which you design, develop, which does not exist, but can be bring towards our physical uh, realm in this environment, that is an innovation. And that is what people who design softwares, people who are scientists, people who are doctors, they do it. Doctors, they help people reduce their pain and sufferings. And that's how their whole life is devoted to 8th house. Because their ascendant lord is sitting in 8th house and if they become doctor or an astrologer or an occult scientist, somebody who is in spirituality, somebody who knows, knows tan tantra, somebody who knows astrology, their life will roll around this 8th house. They will find themselves deeply connected. Yes, this house can also give you pain and suffering. Your whole life can be, can be a turmoil, can be, um, uh, be a spiral wave. But you have to understand this. Your ascendant Lord is in eighth house. It's asking you only two questions, rather one question. You want to be sufferer yourself or you want to help people reduce their sufferings. Now choice is yours. If you are not helping people reduce their sufferings through your innovations, through your product designing, through your development, through being a doctor, through being a scientist, through being an astrologer, then you yourself is feeling and facing those sufferings. So choice is yours. If your standard is in eighth house, either you go and reduce the suffering of other people or you take the suffering on yourself. And this is the beauty of astrology that when you start reading your chart, you understand what's happening to you and why. Your life is going to revolve around eighth house. Choice is yours. You want to reduce the suffering of others, planet will help you. Or you want to go through the suffering, planet is still inducing that because your ascended has activated that house, eighth house. And your whole life energy that is I do is in the eighth house. So it's a very important concept and I hope you are understanding this. If your ascendant is in ninth house, your life will revolve around learnings, higher learnings. So you would love to learn. You would love to travel also, long distance travel. Spirituality, law abiding, dharma, um, uh, respect of teachers, respect of your gurus. They are inbuilt, inherited into you because your ascendant Lord is sitting in here. And if your ascendant Lord is happens to be Jupiter and it's sitting in here, consider magnificent results. So I'm not talking about any specific planet right now, but I'm just giving you some hints here, right? Because I really want you to also do some research and find once you know your ascendant Lord is, and then as I'm talking about whichever house it is sitting, but what that ascendant Lord is like Mars sitting in third house really aggravates and exacerbate your self efforts. Saturn sitting in first house and being your, being your ascendant lord really disciplines you and makes you a person of higher wisdom, All right? Moon sitting, moon your ascendant lord sitting in first house, you're very self cautious and you're very emotional. You're very much attached to yourself. So I hope you're understanding this. So if your ascendant is in 10th house, ascendant lord, your life is all about your career, your status, um, finding government jobs, want to work for government because sun as 10th house is also represents of your government job, your career, your status, your management skills. Ascendant Lord sitting here is like your life is going to revolve around your career, your name, your status, your fame, your management skills. And you will see that you are 
you're getting very good positive energies and also positive results of the 10th house because your ascendant load is sitting here and um, when we talk about houses one four seven and ten these are the central or the kendra houses in astrology they give you a lot of material benefits and material gains in life and we'll talk about the the kendras and the trikonas houses in future videos but these four houses literally gives you a lot of things especially the material benefits and if your ascendant lord is sitting in one of these four houses you will ultimately gain a lot of material benefits it strengthens your horoscope so if your ascendant lord is sitting in 10th house you really have a positive energy to work around and achieve the best of your career name in your career being a politic or being into politics or uh, work for government your life will revolve around the significance of the 10th houses so if your ascendant is in 11th house your life goal is gains your desires your social activities your social network so 11th house is a house of your social activities your desires your manifestation of your desires fulfillment of your desires and expansion of your life so if your ascendant is in 11th house ascendant lord is in 11th house it will push you drive you towards expansion in life and you will see expansion coming towards you um, uh, as much as you put the self effort so you will see your life is all about expansion expansion and expansion and also social networking because that's also an expansion if you have a good network of people whom you know you have that expansion in life people know you know you you know a lot of people people associated with ngos people associated with some charity organizations ascendant lord in 11th house is the significator of that so your life is going to revolve around the significance of the 11th house which is all about chasing your dreams chasing your desires and expansion in life and that's what you are you are born to do so 12th house ascendant lord in 12th house this means foreign land so i've seen numerous charts by the way i myself has my ascendant lord in 12th house and i'm living in a foreign land not in the land where i was born many charts i have seen people who have their ascendant lord in 12th house they are bound to live in the foreign lands or place which is not the place of their native birth so let's say maybe change of environment if not foreign country it may be a place where they were not born they are living somewhere out of that city your life will revolve around spirituality your life will revolve around being a very humble very nice and also a person who has a deep conscious state of reaching or uh, connecting with people at a different levels because your ascendant low 12th will drive you towards spirituality towards healing towards um, astrology also towards knowing the deeper meaning of life and this is where your old life will revolve around you may be working in the foreign lands in a different environment right because 12th house is a house of change of environment you may be a person working in a hospital because 12th house is a house of hospital also you may be working in jails or in the place of asylum also because 12th house represents jails and asylum also so your life will revolve around the significators of the 12th house and you will be also a person who would like to invest money your investments may be in the foreign lands it's also a house of your subconscious mind so that's why i already said your your life will be all about evolving evolving through subconscious levels you will be very good in spiritual pursuits you will be very good in connecting with people and healing people especially if your ascendant is in 12th house or even in 9th house you have a natural ability to connect with people so i hope this makes sense and uh, you are understanding the tripod of your life so open the chart and see your sun where it is we talked about it where your moon is and then where your ascendant sign is your life is going to revolve around these things where your ascendant sign is 
ascendant load is and uh, that's very important and see this in your chart and leave me your comments feedback or send me an email and if you want uh, to ask me any questions about your life um, you subscribe to my video and you can ask me any question I promise I always reply back to any emails I get and I will reply back to you also so this is here we have completed the first basic fundamental principle of astrology knowing where the energies are sitting all the cosmic energies so once you understand this then we will be talking about uh, in the next video that is Arudha Lagna so this is a very important topic again Arudha Lagna and Arudha Padas AP we call it this is going to transform your life once you understand the topics I have already covered and then when you understand the Arudha Lagna this is what the world thinks about you what people thinks about you how they perceive you your outer image and that's what it makes you the man of success and failure in the world where we were living where we are living right now your image what you portray what you exhibit to the outer world is the most important factor that drives your success and failure in less than one second when people see you they know exactly who you are from your outer image and they have already made a decision in their mind what and how they're going to treat you and this is what Arudha Lagnas will talk about and tell you isn't it phenomenal this will transform your life I I guarantee so until then I'll see you in the next video please subscribe hit the like button and if you have question personal question you can send me an email at my email id manish.suri at astrologer.com and i will reply you back no matter what thank you for watching my videos stay safe and stay happy